afternoon you guys happy sunday it is january 2nd 2022 my first vlog of the year for those of you who don't know my name is diana i am 22 years old and i live in raleigh north carolina i am an actress and this is my boyfriend trey or Trayvon. I always call you Trey in the vlog, it's so okay. his name is Trayvon for those who don't know. We are downtown right now. We are just going to get some content. Trey is a photographer, and so we came down here just to get some inspo, explore our own city, you know? <laughs> Pictures, do whatever. <laughs> I got us some coffee so we can get started, and yeah. We're in front of the Duke Energy Center, and they still have the Christmas decorations up. Oh, I'm not ready to say goodbye. How should we go down there? <laughs> wait, I'm gonna wait for this car. downtown Raleigh. His pictures came out so good. You guys are gonna see him on Instagram, so make sure you're following me. We are on the way back to my apartment right now. We are gonna do like some editing. I have a video to edit and he's got pictures he wants to edit too, so we're just gonna hang out. It's just been a really like nice evening. I love creating with him. He's just... He's a best. He's a best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, we're gonna go now. Hello guys, I am back home. I wanted to show you guys my new sweatshirt that I was taking photos in. It is from the Gals on the Go merch shop. If any of you are a fan of Danielle Carolyn or Brooke Michio, I am absolutely obsessed with them and their content. They both live in New York. They've been on YouTube for a long time and I love their podcasts as well as their respective channels. And so I had to buy some merch and then I paired it with some biker shorts and then my dunks. So yeah, I feel really good about this outfit. It was fun to take pictures. But guys, it is a new year and that means I need to finally get this room together. I don't even know if I wanna show it on camera because it's just a disaster on the floor. I have Christmas gifts that I got everywhere. I still haven't unpacked from DC. I wanna finish decorating it. You guys know I moved back in August and I still have not finished my room. We still have blank walls behind this tree, behind my TV. And then I just got a bookshelf that I'm actually gonna put over here by my door. So I'm like super excited about that. It's from Ikea. And I think I'm also gonna get a rug and some new pillows. I need to bring some more color into this room because I kind of messed up by going black and white with the decorations. So we're gonna add more color and hopefully it turns out really good and I can maybe do a room tour. Hello, you guys. Ah, oh, this lighting is terrible. I just got off of work, hence the crustiness. I had to work nine to five today. It was kind of annoying because it was snowing and I would much rather be home drinking some coffee in my bed. So now I am headed to Target to get presents for my roommates. They're actually late Christmas presents. I'm the only person who hasn't put my gifts under our tree yet. And so I'm gonna hurry up and get those even though it's like January 3rd, but you know, it's a thought that counts. It's a thought that counts. And then the rest of the evening's kind of up in the air. I know I really need to edit. I'm probably not gonna end up making dinner. I might pick a different night this week just cause like I don't have it in me. But yeah, I guess come with me to Target. <laughs> So far, 
I'm gonna get my roommates these little mini candles. And then I have this little kind of leaf thing for a vase I'm gonna have for my bookshelf. And then I also got this. I'm gonna hold mail as well. So I always find my way in the candle aisle. It never fails. Let me tell you what just happened. I am shopping and I was checking my phone because I posted the pictures I took yesterday. I will insert hopefully some photos here when I learn how to do that. And I checked my phone and Brooke Michio and Danielle Carolyn commented on the post. Like what? What? I, I don't even, I, I don't even have the words. I just had to share that. Okay, bye. Hey you guys, I am all cozy now. I have been geeking out for the past two hours. Am I famous? Does this mean I'm a celebrity? Like, I don't know how to act. I'm such huge fans of the both of them, and so it was really cool. Gals on the go, their podcast reposted my photo on their stories. So then I got an Instagram DM from this girl. She basically said like, oh my gosh, I saw them repost you. I wanna follow and support another black creator. And I was like, girl, yes, like this is what I'm living for. I don't know, it just made me feel really good. I feel like in a weird way, I'm on the right path. I think at this point in my life, it's really good for me to share certain things and it's a good way for me to just look at where i'm at my journey sorry i'm going on a weird tangent and getting all deep but like it's just really cool to have people recognize what you're doing a lot of my friends have posted about my youtube videos like on their stories or they've sent me sweet messages and like it really means a lot so thank you all you know who you are thank you so much for watching and supporting that being said uh this room's a mess and i didn't get to clean yesterday <laughs> i guess cue the cleaning montage <laughs> Actor problems? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is where my bookshelf is gonna go. I think this will be the best spot for it. We'll see how it fits with my dresser, but. I know it would make more sense for it to go over here, but I need this wall free for self tape. So yeah, I don't know. I'm still deciding on what I wanna do. A lot of this stuff is gonna go on the bookshelf too. It's just been like sitting on my floor because I had nowhere else to put it. Alexa, turn my lamp magenta. Okay. Ah, that never gets old. Anyways, guys, it has been a day. Thanks for coming along with me as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Oh, God. Had to get my Starbucks on the way. You already know what it is. <laughs> Hello you guys, I am around the corner from the symphony. I just left my theater job and I am so excited about what's going on there for the next couple of months. I haven't announced this yet, so I, you guys will be the first to know, but I am going back to New York City next month, yay! I am actually going with my boss and we are going to be, oh shoot. Don't drop, don't fall. Okay, sorry about that, I just got here. Well, we are gonna be going to New York City together in February. I am helping her run our New York City auditions for the theater. I've never done anything like this before and it was so nice of her to like have me come with her. I personally have not been in a New York City audition room and so I think it'll be such a great learning opportunity for me. I've just had New York City on my mind ever since I got back and I just really want to move out there eventually and it's just nice to be able to go back this soon. I didn't think I would but like two months later here we are. Hey! Listening to Gals on the Code today. I'm listening to Danielle's solo episode. I figured it was appropriate considering yesterday's events. Whew. I'm home y'all. I'm home. Today actually was a really good day though. All right y'all. I have changed, and it is time. Y'all, a lot of this wood is split, which I kind of feared would happen. Look at this. Well, you guys, I guess I'm not building this tonight, which sucks. I was really hyping myself up to build my bookshelf because I was so excited, but... 
I'm sad. <laughs> I actually bought this Ikea Billy bookcase off of Amazon. I don't have an Ikea in my city and then they weren't delivering either. I have to tape this whole box back up. I opened it like so messily. Now I have to figure out how to put all this back and tape it correctly. Oh, I'm so annoyed. in here trying to get things together and I finally decided what I want to do with my room kind of so I have this great organizer by my window I've had it since I was in college and I kind of just put it here to fill the space but then I feel like with the mirror and this the window kind of gets blocked so I'm thinking I'm gonna move it over here right by the door so I kind of have like a little table it'll just fill that little space without me having to get anything because I was gonna put my bookshelf there. But ultimately I decided to put my bookshelf right here in my room. It's gonna, of course, you know, that stuff won't be there. So yeah, I'm kind of upset I couldn't put my bookshelf together yesterday because I was really excited about it, but I'm kind of making myself feel better by cleaning my room and kind of prepping the area. So I'm able to like really have fun and put cute stuff on it when it gets here. I'm hoping the one they sent me to replace it is good too and that there's nothing wrong with it because if it's cracked a second time, I'm just gonna return it and go buy something else. But yeah, let's just move a couple things around and wait on my pizza to get here. <laughs> so far. This is one of my absolute favorite candles from Bath & Body Works. It is a lavender vanilla scent. I love it and I always have one on hand. <laughs> got the goods. Oh my god, I cannot wait to eat this. <laughs> Y'all remember Tyrone from my NYC vlog. <laughs> and they do. Boom. Come on. <laughs> And Trey, no, it's good. You see Trey all the time. I'm just playing. Hey, vlog. It is much later in the night. I am just chilling here, getting a little bit of work done. Not too much, because I'm going to go to sleep soon. But I just got off the phone with my friend Tyrone and Trey for a little bit. We were just all chatting and everything. I feel like this is the week of me just catching up with friends, because yesterday I was on the phone with my best friend Mike for like two hours, and like it was so nice to catch up with him. And I think one of my New Year's resolutions is to just be more intentional in my friendships especially and just all relationships in general I think it's just so important to connect with people and really check in and that's like I feel like you can really build friendships if you're vulnerable and you're just kind of checking in on the person and communicating well so I want to be very intentional with my friendships this year and speaking of New Year's resolutions, I'm kind of trying to decide what my word for the year is going to be. I always choose a word, but a lot of times it never really comes to me until I'm like a month into the new year. In the past, my words have been begin, rooted. I'm still trying to decide on what a word for this year would be because I think my theme for this year is really just going after everything that like God has planned and in all aspects of life, just really going for it. My word for the last year was space, like taking up more space, and I really do think that I made some good ground with that last year, but even more so this year, I want to just blossom and thrive and go after everything that I've always wanted and to not hold back, and so I'm trying to find a word that kind of culminates that, so maybe you guys have ideas. I was thinking of just going super simple and just doing the word go, but I don't know. I'm still trying to decide, so if you have any ideas for me, comment down below. <laughs> But it is late. I am gonna hurry up and wrap up this little bit of work, but I will see you guys tomorrow for even more 
of me. I was kidding. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey you guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for following me along this week. I'm still trying to get the hang of vlogging my everyday life because I started this channel during the holidays where like so much was going on and now it's kind of like I'm wake up, go to work, go home. And so I hope it was interesting for you guys, you know, my little home improvement stuff. And hopefully next week I get my bookshelf and it's not cracked. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It is so helpful to me. And Happy New Year once again. Bye.